Oh man, folks, this is bad. We got work to do. Here she goes. <laughs> Guys, it's your boy Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. And today, it snowed last night, fellas. And it's still kind of blown around, but man, it's that sticky, heavy stuff. But you know what? It's gorgeous. Bad news, I took the plow off my tractor. Oh man, a little premature on that one. But hey, this stuff, sorry for the wind. This stuff isn't gonna stick around long, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go check on these goats because this fence was jacked up this morning. I fixed it already because it needed to be addressed right away. But let's see how they're doing. Mama, did you guys make it through the night okay? <laughs> she did. Good to know. Hey, this fence is off. If I catch you outside, going in my garage again, I mean you're going to have words. Yeah, I don't want to hear it this time. We'll stick you with uh, Waylon to straighten you out. He's the shop boss around here. Oh, wow. Today, guys, you get the phone because it snowed a little bit outside. So I came out this morning to see all those trees on the back end they were down on the fence the fence is pulled down i got snow covering the bottom of the fence it's sagging all over the place so i basically had to go straighten out the fence and uh i need to get it addressed before too soon that's for sure solar charge is not doing very good because it's cloudy that sun's trying to come out i turned it off i don't think these goats are going to come out and play today let's go check them out you guys staying warm? You made it through the night? Yeah, you guys are nice, toasty, and dry in there. <laughs> We're not having any freezing issues with their water yet. It's not, it's cold, but it's not that cold. I predict that this stuff's gonna melt off really quick, but it's a heavy, wet snow. And it is just coming down in clumps on the back of my neck. Oh, man. But check it out. It's beautiful, though. It's causing a lot of tree issues, that's for sure. I have a feeling that uh, all my hard work of clearing this fence is probably gonna be short-lived. Because like I said, this snow's wet and it's sticking to everything. That's why I don't have my good camera out. Let's go check out the pines behind my house though. They're a different story. Oh, look what I just walked upon. The kids used the hot tub last night, but didn't bother shutting it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now I'm going to put a bunch of this dirty snow in here. Oh, yeah. So satisfying. Might have to get in that later. Oh, oh now it's heavy because it's frozen. Ugh. Whew. It's okay. I'm strong like bull. Check out these trees. <laughs> yep. I don't think we're going to have any crashing issues. I'm going to set you guys up here so you guys can watch me uh, possibly knock the snow off this and get covered. stuff on Doing. all right ready fast knee Ooh. I love it Nebraska Springs, just like any other place, you give it 10 minutes and it's gonna change. I would have to say, it might cause a lot of headaches, this kind of snow, but it's my favorite kind of snow. It's good for sledding, snowballs, snow forts, all that fun stuff. Ooh, 
Ooh, I hear turkeys. Or do I mean chickens? Let's go see them. What's up, guys? You guys doing okay in this cold weather? Man, we got to clean your coop here soon, or your brooder. And these guys. Where you at? These guys are about to graduate. They're gonna be going to the big coop. They're going to gym pop here soon, fellas. I don't know if they're ready yet. I think I'm gonna give them about another week. I've gotta get these guys in that little brooder there because they're starting to jump out. And that one black chicken, and that one black chicken, he is an absolute nutso. He jumps out all the time. He screams. He is just, he is all, he is just weird beyond all get out. That's for sure. And uh, I'm not sure how he's going to handle being in the flock because he is a weird dude, man. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I came out this morning and his whole fence line was collapsed. It's a good thing goats hate getting wet because they stayed hunkered down, didn't give me any issues. But, uh, yeah. The fence was an issue this morning. I had to jump out here real quick, fix it, clear it all out. It was a big pain, but it needed to get done, and we got it done. But I got the fence off, people. All that snow, it laying on the ground, really sucked the battery out last night. So I would have shut it off because I'm not really worried about the goats uh, being attacked. I'm worried about them getting out. But I left it on last night knowing that the weather was coming because I saw this. Yes, folks, that is a fox. I was down uh, doing my Friday night voodoo ritual of burning trash <laughs> and drinking a beer. And this bunny came shooting out whew, right out here, just doing that bunny squeeze squealing and i was like what in the tarnation is chasing that thing because uh bunnies they they only make that noise when they're they're about to die and uh um what do you want to call it? a red fox came running out i barely had time to catch him on video got the red creature on my property folks <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do about that fox she's been around a while previous homeowners call them poe previous homeowners they uh they told me that there was a fox that lived around here. She hasn't caused any problems that I could tell. She was going after a bunny. I am worried about her going after my baby goats. What's up, Brody? What's up, Brody? Keep her, boy. Oh, it's a snow puppy. Yeah. Oh, you like this snow? You wet dog. Oh, you wet dog. You wet dog. <laughs> That dog hates my guts, people. Hates my guts. Hey, come over here and get your morning boops. Today, with this glorious weather and all the problems it's causing, got a buddy that has a tree coming down. So, I'm gonna take you along because it should be pretty fun watching him take down this tree. Cause it's no punk. It's like leaning over apparently really bad and it's ready to fall on his camper or something. But I'm gonna take you guys along because we have to pull it one direction with the truck and then chop it and drop it down. So you can't miss that video opportunity. I'll grab my chainsaw. We're gonna head over there right now. All right, what's it look like? Ugh, I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, there it is. She's making some creaking noises too. You got tied off. Whew. Where's it split at? Oh man. Yep. That could be an issue. Not good. What do you think about doing? Huh? What do you think about doing? I 
I'm thinking about taking that uh, back limb off first. I just don't know how Where it's it going to split. Fall, you know? Yeah. Just to make it more manageable than. Because if that hits, if I can get that uh, off, it's going to clear more to go in this way, you know? <laughs> He's saying this is how all great YouTube videos start. There's three guys doing some crazy stuff, hooking drinking. ropes up. We're not drinking. We're not drinking yet. yet. <laughs> I think it's going to be just fine. You're just going to have to have balls of steel to be underneath it, cutting that tree. Yeah. Thought it'd be fun. Here she goes! And the rope snapped just in time. He could have done it any better. I know. <laughs> that was absolutely perfect. Oh man, now we gotta clean this stuff up. Then you got that Let's little go, Brent. cranky guy right there. You got that cranky guy sitting right there. We're going up in that tree. <laughs> that couldn't have been any better. Nope. Now I just got to cut that even so you got yourself a bar stool or something. We, uh, or a table for your fire pit. We didn't even need to move the fire pit. No. <laughs> That's all. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you like my channel, subscribe. I have 50% of you guys that aren't subscribed who watch my stuff. So hit that subscribe button. If you're already coming to watch my stuff anyways, might as well. It don't cost you nothing. All right. I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>